Hello guys, welcome back for another cleaning video and I'm going to start in the kitchen. So I just grabbed the camera the other night because I started to preserve the tomatoes from my garden and I'm going to dehydrate them and after that I'm going to grind it up and I'm going to store it in a powder form. So whenever I'm going to need some paste, tomato paste, I can just add some water to it but it's a very great way to preserve them and it will take up less space than if I would keep them in the jar and I would have to cook them so it's a much more simple version of that. We are still have a bunch of apples from the time when we picked them so I'm just gonna go through on them which one is going bad make sure we use them up and then I can get back the control over the fruit flies. It was a crooked little smile that caught my eye Time went by and it was her and I I do post my homemade cleaner recipes very often but if you want to know all of them I will link down below the video where I shared all of them in one video. This narrow shaped brush comes very handy a lot of time when I clean and I think it's called a branch brush but I will have this in my Amazon store if you're looking for the same. I can get into places with that where it would be hard to clean. Since I was on the roll and I already had my steam mop going and plugged in, I decided I'm going to clean the floor in our bedroom. Thank you so much friend, I really enjoyed this so much. I just want to say a quick thank you to you all who sent to me so many sweet gifts and I got this book and this magazine subscription and later on I will mention what else I got but I just want to say thank you from my bottom of my heart. Good morning guys, so I'm going to start this morning in this room and I'm going to try to accomplish as much as I can. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach every Opening the windows for a little bit, just a little bit because it's cold <laughs> and I'm going to tidy up in this room a little bit and I'm going to fix the bed. Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your 
joy to the ones who lost their hope. This bathroom going to have a little bit more intense work in here than the bedroom and this container that I just shown you it's amazing to gather all the things that I like to use every single day so it's very easy to put it away very easy to pull it out and I get to see where is everything I just love this organizer I like to diffuse some essential oils while I'm cleaning because it's just freshing me up, it's definitely energizing me. I used some tangerine oil. To scrub the sinks, I like to use the dish soap and vinegar mixture. After the dish soap and the vinegar did their job and they just loosened up the dirt, I'm just going to use a clean cloth and I'm going to wipe off all the surfaces. I like to wipe off all the soap dispensers as well because they get to be very dirty after we use them and uh, especially in the bottom it can get very yucky. Before I start to clean the toilet I like to just vacuum a little bit around that just to you know eliminate all the lint and hair so as I'm cleaning and everything gets to be wet around that it will it will be easier to clean up if I vacuum at first while it's dry This porcelain cleaner is amazing so every time when I have a built up and a ring in the toilet this one can totally save even old toilets and I bought this off of Amazon so I will have this in my Amazon store as well.
when I use my steam mop I like to add the essential oils on the floor instead of putting it in there so when it doesn't soak up all the scent so I'm not going to keep repeating the same smell <laughs> and also sometimes you never know it can just damage the steam mop so it's just safer to use it either you can put it on the pad or on the floor going to tidy up here a little bit and also I'm going to decorate this little shaft that we have on this wall and thank you Julie for this cloth they have arrived and I cannot wait to try them so I'm going to do a little bit of a dusting and I'm going to decorate here a little and guys we have so many plans so many videos that are coming now that we are going to work on the inside of the house a little bit now so we're going to continue the renovation and vacuuming the couch fluffing up the pillows it will make look this couch way happier than it was before We had this little wooden houses at the entryway but we are going to redo that area so I just I'm just going to move them over here it's gonna be cute around Christmas time I can use the little red mushrooms or just I can use some pine branches it's going to definitely work with this space and I can just change it around but I'm also planning to add some string light behind that I have a few videos that I shared in the past what you can use to entertain the kids and we love paper toys so this is one of them that I'm going to keep forever <laughs> maybe my grandkids can play with that too and it's just made from paper and the link for that will be down below in the description box so finally I was able to frame one of my art that I painted and that's gonna be the clue for this room so I'm going to turn this into an art studio since the kids don't really use this area and let's just face it nobody else <laughs> we have not much going on in that area so I thought it's gonna be perfect for that I don't want to put my computer here because when I do the voiceover or if I'm editing I need quiet so for that where I have this right now it's perfect but this area is just cause for a creative space <laughs> I was positive the worst thing that I could clean is the oven well I was wrong I think it's the fireplace that's <laughs> takes the cake it's definitely something I'm not looking forward to clean but once it's clean it's actually very rewarding so if you want to clean the doors and you have a lot of burned on smoke to me what works the best is ashes so I just use the vinegar water mixture I spray them a little bit and I use some ashes right out straight from the fireplace and I like to use ashes to clean the shower door as well
boys are done with the schoolwork so they just cleaned off of the table and Max is just wiping it off and I'm going to vacuum under the table I don't know there are some areas in our home that always always gets dirty and the number one is under the table and then second it's around the couch and the entryway this three uh maybe the bathroom too but hands down under the table like we have so many crumbs and i don't know socks lint i have no idea there's just always something to vacuum there <laughs> so i have to do this quite often over there as well as at the entrance because we have so many pine trees so we always have pine needles at the entrance Starting to clean this bathroom with vacuuming the floor. If you missed the video and you didn't see how we remodeled this bathroom, I will link it down below for you. But basically, we just used a floor material which is a vinyl, so it's not a wooden one but this is what we used on the wall and so far guys here's the feedback it's been working amazing and let's face it two boys using it so it's a hardcore <laughs> test for that and it's been working wonderfully and it's super easy to clean With this bathroom we had a goal that we wanted to do the lowest budget as possible for us so we saved so much money by using this vinyl on the wall and also there's so many other benefits that I'm going to mention in a second but the most money that we spent on and that was the toilet so it uses less water it's easy to clean now the benefits of this vinyl is that we don't have any grout so it's very very nice and easy to clean there's no scrubbing needed I can just wipe it off with some dish soap and vinegar mixture when we moved in the past the first thing that we always did is to switch to this attachment on the shower and just spray it around with the water it makes cleaning way way easier quick dusting is in order in this room today <laughs> and I like to display these handmade soaps they smell amazing soon as we step into the bathroom you can just feel this beautiful I don't know they have kind of like a fruity smell like all sorts of fruits <laughs> we really like it it's kind of like a berry smell cleaning the mirror with some vinegar and then scrubbing the sink with some vinegar and dish soap mixture I 
like to spread out throughout the week the chores of the cleaning so I have some kind of a sort of routine where I break it down but today I had a little bit more on my list because I did less yesterday so it's kind of added up but this afternoon I had to do some errands so I definitely I was on <laughs> to get done as much as possible so I can catch up and tomorrow is going to be an easier day to keep up with all the rest now thank you so much for clicking on this video i'm very very thankful to you to watching until the end and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye i'm done